Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Kolkata and Hyderabad. Now yes, remember to join the fan to play leaderboard with 25 teams. It's really good, too many cash prizes for you and the first cash prize up to 2 lakhs, 1.5 lakh, 1 lakh, so too many cash prizes. Currently I'm ranking 9th on that leaderboard in spite of having an average Mumbai Chennai game. So I think it's going to be really interesting because the competition is lesser, the leaderboard contest barely has 10 to 12,000 people joining it. And yes, there is another hack there for you too. You remember to join with that bonus cash of yours because when you make a deposit on the fan to play app, you can use that bonus cash across a lot of contests. So yes, that's your hack. Remember to join. And apart from that, there's a giveaway code waiting for you at the end of this preview. So stay tuned. So first up, we'll discuss the keepers and the batters. It's a super, super interesting game. Must win for both teams. So the keeper for me in this game, Nicholas Puran, he's looked in really good touch. Apart from that, the KKR keepers, none of them have really settled in across so many games. So is it worth that risk? Maybe not in a small league team for sure. Yes, if Sam Billings does play and he opens, then you can consider him. Then we're looking at four batters in this game. First one is Rahul Tripathi. I think he's the man in touch from this section. He's an ex-KKR player and yes, we know that the exes are really hurting in this whole season till now. So, he's maybe a great GL captaincy or vice captaincy choice. Second pick is Shreya Sayar. He's a KKR captain and he's looked in decent solid touch. Got a few 50s. Expecting a big one from him really soon. Then we have the other two batters. First one is going to be Kane Williamson who's looked in good touch. Not really got that big one yet, I know. But I think that should come soon. And the last one who I think is an excellent GL captaincy choice, Venkatesh Iyer. He batted really well in the last game and apart from that, he did bowl a few very useful overs as well. So I think he's a great GL captaincy choice for you again over there. Now let's see the next section. And now we have the all-rounders and bowlers from the game. First up, I think are the best and most obvious options in the form of Andre Russell and Sunil Narayan. And they are my captain and vice-captain for this game. Andre Russell giving you the big hits, bowling you crucial overs, as always getting a lot of wickets. I won't categorize how those wickets are coming, but they are. Then you have Sunil Narayan who has been really economical, not got you so many wickets but in every game at an average he is getting one wicket here and there and when he's getting to bat he's giving you a few sixes so I think he's a safe choice and when that big set of wickets comes then he's going to be your mini GL winner. Then you have Aiden Makram as the third all-rounder. He's not bowling too much I know but I think he's a good choice in terms of I see only two off spinners in front of him so both are going to turn the ball into him and he's played spin pretty decently in the tournament. Then you have three bowlers Bhuvneshwar Kumar from Sunrisers. He's bowled really really well that wickets column does not tell you anything about how well he has actually ended up bowling but yes he becomes a really good choice for you and again it's similar scenario to Narayan where when he gets those wickets he'll get you a lot of them and then the other two choices are pretty obvious in the form of Umran Malik and Tim Saudi. Tim Saudi again has bowled really well, got you wickets at crucial times. We are seeing one set of bowlers that are conceding a lot of runs, not taking too many wickets and other set that are conceding runs but yet taking a lot of wickets. So I think you have a good mix of bowlers in this scenario and if Saudi bowls first, he's a great GL captaincy choice too. Finally, this is what the team looks like. We have one keeper, four batsmen, three all-rounders and three bowlers. Now let's look at your favorite section, the matchups. So we have the matchup section now from where you pick and drop your GL players and one man who's going to be smiling the most looking at this one is Bhuvneshwar Kumar. He's dismissed Ajinkya Rahane six times and Shreya Sayyar three times and both of them have a strike rate of below 100 and it's not like that sample size is less, it's above 50 balls there. So that becomes really important for you. And yes, if there is swing movement, then these matchups will come into play in the form of dismissals. Maybe if there's not much movement, they might just play him out and move ahead. Apart from that, there's another interesting one when Nicholas Puran has been dismissed twice by Varun Chakravati. But in this scenario, that strike rate is around a 150. So I think that can pan out really interestingly because we see Puran trying to attack spin. So they also have an equivalent amount of chance to strike against them. And finally, we have the challenge picks where you can make your team exclusively on the fan to play app. The link is in the description with just two, three or four players. Currently in this game, I'm going to pick three players, Sunil Narayan, Andre Russell and Rahul Tripathi, all three based on some really good form. So you two go make your picks now on the fan to play app 
and remember to use the code FCPSAT while joining the giveaway. Yes, this is your giveaway code for the Super Saturday. Have fun and remember to join us on the Telegram channel for your final team, second innings updates and all the good luck to you.